Chicago, the Windy City. Did you know it's called the Windy City not because of the weather, but because its local politicians are known to be long-winded? What else do we need to know about this place? Well, it's the third largest city in America. And it's home to an amazing food scene, including Chicago-style deep dish pizza, which I'll be trying for the first time in this video, by the way. And it's home to some of the most amazing skyscrapers anywhere in the world. So it seems fitting to start this video by doing something that many of my viewers recommended. An architectural boat tour on Chicago's river, into the lake. Ah, uh, there's a bright sunshine right in my face and it's making me look very ginger, look. Yeah. We're approaching the golden hour, I don't know if it's going to be quite sunset. But I tell you what, this river looks amazing. Looking forward to seeing it. On this boat tour. Everybody's just loading up, look. Chicago is known for its stunning skyline, which is often compared to other big cities in America like New York and San Francisco. However, what sets Chicago's skyline apart is its rich architectural history and the diversity of the styles represented. You'll see early skyscrapers from the 19th and 20th centuries all the way up to modern high-rises. Chicago's skyline tells a story of the city's growth over many decades. Founded in 1833, Chicago quickly grew from a small settlement into a major metropolis, driven by its strategic location, natural resources and hard work of its inhabitants. The city played a key role in the development of the American Midwest, serving as a hub for transportation, industry and commerce. And throughout its history, Chicago has faced many challenges, from natural disasters and economic downturns, although it's always managed to bounce back and emerge stronger. Taking a boat tour down the Chicago River is one of the best ways to see some of its unique buildings. Although on this trip, as you can see, many of the buildings were actually surrounded in fog. The Chicago River was once a vital transportation route for the city because it allowed for easy access to Lake Michigan and the rest of the Great Lakes. But in the 19th century, the river became heavily polluted due to industrialization and sewage disposal. So to fix the problem, the city embarked on an ambitious project to reverse the flow of the river, redirecting it away from the lake and into the Mississippi River. This project, which was known as the Chicago River Contraction, was completed in 1900 and is considered one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. Among the most famous buildings in Chicago is the Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower. It's an 110-storey skyscraper, completed in 1973, and was the tallest building in the world for 25 years. Another iconic building on the river is the Wrigley Building. The 1920s building was the headquarters of the Wrigley Gum Company, and is considered one of the first examples of the Art Deco style in Chicago. Well, that was really awesome. You know, I don't know if I expected it to be as, as cool as it was, but it was really, really, really nice to learn about the history of some of these big buildings. Go out onto the lake. One thing I will say though, it is chilly. I'm cold, very cold. But it was good, it was well worth it. And I'd recommend you guys, if you are in Chicago, to do that as well, the architectural river tour. The way the sun cuts through the buildings here is phenomenal. Sunset. Sunset, yeah. This whole city has been a massive, massive surprise. I'm very glad we came here. For lots of reasons, but it is, it is extremely beautiful.
definitely the positive surprise of this trip. These buildings are sensational, really, really awesome. They look dramatic. And they look intimidating, some of them, and some of them just look incredibly beautiful. There's all different kinds and styles. I think that's what's cool about it. That's what we learned on the boat tour as well. Anyway, we're starving. I could eat anything right now. We are off to try and find ourselves some Chicago deep dish pizza, if we can. Finally. Finally, for the first time <laughs> on this trip. For a while. Yeah, well, you can get it at home, but it won't be like this. Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> we can find Chicago style pizza in the UK. It will not be like this. All right, so this here, I'm not sure if the fuck is gonna work here to show you what I'm looking at. Probably not. That here, anyway, in Chicago is Gino's East. A place that everyone says is a really great, top class, well-rated Chicago deep pizza. So we're going in, I'm excited. Let's go and try this thing. I'm hungry as well, are you hungry? Yes. Chicago style pizza is a deep dish pizza that is known for its thick, buttery crust large portions of cheese, and toppings like tomato sauce. This style of pizza originated in the city of Chicago in the 1940s, and has since become a beloved dish that is synonymous with the city. Oh, it's all over your face. Kind of funny, there was a lot of people here when we started, and now there's nobody, look. The pizza here takes like an hour to come when you order it. I mean, they're big pizzas, so kind of understandable, but yeah, everyone's like. I'm not really sure what to do with this. I don't think I can pick it up with my hands and eat it. I think I probably have to cut it. I would say because it's so big and like just full of stuff. So knife and fork job for this. Oh, there's a lot of cheese all morning. It's gonna be your favourite thing, the cheese, look. Take like a lot of cheese, I'm not a huge fan, but I'll eat it. Is it hot? A little bit. It's fine, you can still eat. Mm. It's very tomato though, you like tomato. I love the tomato. It's very rich. Cheese is a wee bit too much for me. It's because I'm not a cheese fan. Cheese for days, man. Look. 